Srimad Bhagavatam, translated with commentaries by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Canto 1, Chapter 1 Questions by the Sages, Text 14 Living beings who are entangled in the meshes of birth and death can be freed immediately by even unconsciously chanting the holy name of Krishna, which is feared by fear personified. Purport Vasudev, or Lord Krishna, the absolute personality of Godhead, is the supreme controller of everything. There is no one in creation who is not afraid of the rage of the Almighty. Great asuras like Ravana, Hiranyakashipu, Kamsa, and others who were very powerful living entities were all killed by the personality of Godhead. And the Almighty Vasudev has empowered his name with the powers of his personal self. Everything is related to him. Everything has its identity in him. It is stated herein that the name of Krishna is feared even by fear personified. This indicates that the name of Krishna is non-different from Krishna. Therefore, the name of Krishna is as powerful as Lord Krishna himself. There is no difference at all. Anyone, therefore, can take advantage of the holy names of Lord Krishna, even in the midst of great dangers. The transcendental name of Krishna, even though uttered unconsciously or by force of circumstances, can help one obtain freedom from the hurdle of birth and death. Text 15 O Sutta, those great sages who have completely taken shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord can at once sanctify those who come in touch with them, whereas the waters of the Ganges can sanctify only after prolonged use. Purport Pure devotees of the Lord are more powerful than the waters of the sacred river Ganges. One can derive spiritual benefit out of prolonged use of the Ganges waters. But one can be sanctified at once by the mercy of a pure devotee of the Lord. In Bhagavad Gita it is said that any person, regardless of birth as sudra, woman, merchant, can take shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord and by doing so can return to Godhead. To take shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord means to take shelter of the pure devotees. The pure devotees whose only business is serving are honored by the names Prabhupada and Vishnupad, which indicate such devotees to be representatives of the lotus feet of the Lord. Anyone, therefore, who takes shelter of the lotus feet of a pure devotee by accepting the pure devotee as his spiritual master can be at once purified. Such devotees of the Lord are honored equally with the Lord because they are engaged in the most confidential service of the Lord, for they deliver out of the material world the fallen souls whom the Lord wants to return home back to Godhead. Such pure devotees are better known as vice lords, according to revealed scriptures. The sincere disciple of the pure devotee considers the spiritual master equal to the Lord, but always considers himself to be a humble servant of the servant of the Lord. That is the pure devotional path. Text 16. Who is there, desiring deliverance from the vices of the age of Kali, who is not willing to hear the glories of the Lord? 
purport. The age of Kali is the most condemned age due to its quarrelsome features. Kali Yuga is so saturated with vicious habits that there is a great fight at the slightest misunderstanding. Those who are engaged in the pure devotional service of the Lord, who are without any desire for self-aggrandizement, and who are freed from the effects of fruitive actions and dry philosophical speculations, are capable of getting out of the estrangements of this complicated age. The leaders of the people are very much anxious to live in peace and friendship, but they have no information of the simple method of hearing the glories of the Lord. On the contrary, such leaders are opposed to the propagation of the glories of the Lord. In other words, the foolish leaders want to completely deny the existence of the Lord. In the name of secular state, such leaders are enacting various plans every year. But, by the insurmountable intricacies of the material nature of the Lord, all these plans for progress are being constantly frustrated. They have no eyes to see that their attempts at peace and friendship are failing. But here is the hint to get over the hurdle. If we want actual peace, we must open the road to understand the Supreme Lord Krishna and glorify him for his virtuous activities, as they are depicted in the pages of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Text 17 His transcendental acts are magnificent and gracious, and great learned sages like Narada sing of them. Please, therefore, speak to us, who are eager to hear about his adventures, which he performs in his various incarnations. Purport. The personality of Godhead is never inactive, as some less intelligent persons suggest. His works are magnificent and magnanimous. His creations, both material and spiritual, are all wonderful and contain all variegatedness. They are described nicely by such liberated souls as Srila Narada, Vyas, Valmiki, Devala, Asita, Madhva, Sri Chaitanya, Ramanuja, Vishnu Swami, Nimbarka, Sridhar, Vishwanath, Baladev, Bhakti Vinod, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, and many other learned and self realized souls. These creations, both material and spiritual, are full of opulence, beauty, and knowledge. But the spiritual realm is more magnificent due to its being full of knowledge, bliss, and eternity. The material creations are manifested for some time as perverted shadows of the spiritual kingdom and can be likened to cinemas. They attract people of less intelligent caliber who are attracted by false things. Such foolish men have no information of the reality, and they take it for granted that the false material manifestation is the all in all. But more intelligent men, guided by sages like Vyas and Narada, know that the eternal kingdom of God is more delightful, larger, and eternally full of bliss and knowledge. Those who are not conversant with the activities of the Lord and his transcendental realm are sometimes favored by the Lord in his adventures as incarnations, wherein he displays the eternal bliss of his association in the transcendental realm. By such activities, he attracts the conditioned souls of the material world. Some of these conditioned souls are engaged in the false enjoyment 
of material senses, and others in simply negating their real life in the spiritual world. These less intelligent persons are known as karmis, or fruitive workers, and the others are known as jnanis, or dry mental speculators. But above these two classes of men is the transcendentalist, known as sattvata, or the devotee who is neither busy with rampant material activities nor with material speculation. He is engaged in the positive service of the Lord, and thereby he derives the highest spiritual benefit unknown to the karmis and jnanis. As the supreme controller of both the material and spiritual worlds, the Lord has different incarnations of unlimited categories. Incarnations like Brahma, Rudra, Manu, Pritu, Vyasa, and so on are his material qualitative incarnations. But his incarnations like Ram, Ashinga, Varaha, Vamana, and so on are his transcendental incarnations. Lord Sri Krishna is the fountainhead of all incarnations, and he is therefore the cause of all causes. Text 18 O wise Sutta, please narrate to us the transcendental pastimes of the Supreme Godhead's multi-incarnations. Such auspicious adventures and pastimes of the Lord are performed by His internal powers. PURPORT For the creation, maintenance, and destruction of the material worlds, the Supreme Lord, Personality of Godhead Himself, appears in many thousands of forms of incarnations. And the specific adventures found in those transcendental forms are all auspicious. Both those who are present during such activities and those who hear the transcendental narrations of such activities are benefited. 